Hello, welcome back. I wanted to come in and share um, the way I've, I think I've finally decided on how I'm going to store my paintings. Um, this is my current basket um, that I'm using to put everything in. I've got empty envelopes because they're nice. I don't want to throw them away. Um, I've got a few completed ones back here um, that are going to be gifts that I'm just waiting um, for the timing to gift them. Um, this is one that took me quite a long time to get the wrinkles out of, and you can see I'm still having some issues there. So I'm kind of just keeping it flat. Um, this is also going to be a gift. I just have to buy the frame for it. I need to put that somewhere else. It's not. It needs to go under something heavy. So here's what I've done with my paintings. Um, I had shown you in a previous video these tubes that come on the heat transfer vinyl um, that you can buy for making t-shirts and such. So I save these when I have an empty roll and they come in really handy for storing the paintings on. So this bag has completed paintings. So you can see I've written which paintings are in this actual envelope. And then I have this one. Again, I wrote which ones. Dang it, couldn't get away without her. So this, again, are the ones that I have in there. So they go in the bottom, and you can see they're just rolled on the tubes, and this keeps them from getting bent again and keeps the drills from popping off. And then for the ones that I'm getting in the mail, I am rolling them um, without the tube so I can get more in one envelope. Really? Yes. So again, here's what I'm doing. I'm putting the, I decided to write the actual code that's on each painting. Don't move those, I, I need those. Them. So here, yes. How many of these are you doing? In here, so you can see, I'm packing it. This one actually has the tube on it. And then I had to get two boxes. Like I said, I've got so many. Um, so these I got from Dollar Tree. Um, now that they have all the school stuff out, and what I've done for this is I'm writing those same numbers that I have on the outside of the envelope on here. And then this is where I'm keeping the packages of drills. I have checked that they're all here before I put them in and um, catalog them. That way I don't have to worry um, if I need to get a replacement or get some that um, are missing or what have you, I can contact the seller since who knows when this is going to, these are going to be done. Um, all right, so these are the paintings that I showed um, in previous videos. These are the ones that I have gotten most recently. So I was going to put them away and let you all see, which I mean, it's pretty simple, but I know a lot of people like to see it. Um, these have quite a few in them. I think I'll put them in here because you can see I don't like when you can still see some of the bends in the canvas. So that's partially why I'm packing them in really nice and tight to keep them curved. And that's why this one still has the tube in it because there was a lot of creases in these paintings. So um, I'd rather them the curves flatten out a lot quicker than the creases do. So what I do first is I match up, so we'll start with this little cutie, and this is X255. So that one is here, and like I said, I have checked all of these drills, so I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to put a comma, X255 on my box, drills in. And then we have next, 
is the Four Seasons Tree, which is L850. And there it is, L850. And again, we'll just list that right there. And then next up is the mason jar with the wildflowers. This one is L1158. And then the drills are right here, 1158. And last of all, we have our sweet little cow. And she is X219. So we'll put her, whoops. See, I messed up. Part of the reason that I like this um, method is if I make a mistake like that, I can. All right, so I got a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to just moisten the Q-tip, and it comes right off. See, mistake gone. And also the other method, um, the only other reason I like this method is when I finish this painting, I can erase the numbers. And same with on this packaging, I can use the alcohol and it will wipe off the Sharpie on here too. So I'm not, I'm not going to be wasting um, the packaging or anything like that. So X219. And the drills right here and I did write colorful cow because this had the little label on it so I wrote colorful cow on there too just for ease of finding her and now get this stuff out of the way I have to mark we decided this was the envelope I'm going to put them in so I'm going to pull these out so I have a flat surface to write on and I will label the same ones so X219, L1158. I hope this isn't too elementary for you guys. L850. I just thought I would share my process, um, share how my brain works. And then X255. Okay. So there's that. And here are the paintings that need to go in. So I keep them, try to keep them kind of with the same size, um, but I've noticed that if I put the smaller ones in between the larger paintings, it helps um, with them, because there are there's a lot of the smaller paintings in here, which is another reason the, the creases aren't getting out quite so quickly. So what I do is I take my little tube and I just slowly roll the paintings, make sure I don't have them too crooked and make it as tight as I can. So there's that. And if it fits, with the tube, I leave it. So there we have it. So that's a lot tighter in there. I don't think I'll add any more paintings, but you can see that now the creases are kind of disappearing. So when I'm ready to work on these paintings, I'll just have to roll them backwards and they'll, they'll flatten out. So there's that. I hope that gave you all some ideas um, and let you all know how my brain works a little better. Let's see, there's my, so now my to-do paintings are all condensed into three tubes and two boxes. So my storage is a little bit more, a little bit smaller of an area. So that's all they take up, and then you've got the basket with um, all my tools and then the drills, so which is about this size as well when you stack all that stuff up. So I'm um, just trying to condense everything, like I said numerous times. But anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.